My name is Ray McKinney, and I'm a district manager for the Mine Safety and Health Administration's Coal Division. I'm Martin Ross, the district manager for Middle and Non-Middle. The following video has been developed to address the hazards associated with large off-road haulage trucks, much like the one behind us. We in the Middle and Non-Middle mining industry, as well as coal, have experienced a great number of accidents involving haulage equipment just like this. And you, the driver, are in the best position to make a major contribution in eliminating some of those accidents. Martin, there are three areas where the driver really needs to focus. The first is a good pre-operational inspection to identify hazards. The second is to report those hazards. And thirdly, to ensure that those hazards are corrected before putting that truck into operation. When conducting truck inspections, ensure that the truck is not loaded, secured from movement, and in a safe, level area. By performing a pre-operation or walk-around inspection of your haulage truck, you'll be assured the machine is in a safe condition for you to operate. The reason for a thorough inspection is to assure that all parts, equipment, and accessories that affect safe truck operation are in proper working condition and free from defects before the vehicle is placed into service. The truck shown here is parked on a level area with the parking brake set. You should wear comfortable but properly fitting clothing, including protective gear such as hard hat, safety shoes, and eyeglasses or goggles. Depending upon the dust and noise level at your working area, you may need a dust mask or respirator and hearing protection. Also, do not wear jewelry that could get caught on controls or machine parts. You begin your pre-operation inspection with a thorough check of tires and wheels. Look for loose or missing lugs or cracked or bent rims. Check rims and rings to ensure they're not mismatched. Check the tires for exposed plies, deep cuts, bulges, and abnormal wear. Also, look for proper inflation, because low tire pressure can cause poor steering response, overheating, or a blowout. Check the engine compartment for trash, tools, rags, and anything that could jam controls, damage the engine, or cause a fire. Check fan and V-belt drives for proper guarding and check radiator hoses and connections for leaks. As you look in the wheel well and engine compartment, check the steering components for excessive wear or movement, including the steering shaft, gearbox, pitman arm and drag link assembly, tie rod, and tie rod ends, and look for fuel or any other fluid leaks. Look at the interior walls of the tires for evidence of oil or grease leaks. Also, check the suspension. Several different types of suspension systems are used on off-road haulage trucks. For haulers equipped with gas-charged suspension, the cylinders should be checked for loose mountings and leaks. If springs are used, check for indications of misaligned, shifted or cracked springs, missing or loose bolts, spring hangers unsecured at frame, and cracked or loose U-bolts. If equipped with A-arms and torque rods, check for cracks and loose pins. Inspect all fluid carrying lines for cracks, brakes, rubbing, or loose fittings. Your steering, braking, and other controls depend upon hydraulic force, so it's important that there be no leaks, brakes, or loose fittings. The truck's braking system should be checked for missing, loose, cracked, or non-functioning parts, such as loose belts, leaking hydraulic lines, leaks in wheel cylinders, brake linings or pads saturated with oil, grease, or brake fluid, excessive wear or cracks in rotors and brake pads, or drums and linings, and check for loose or missing air chamber mounting bolts. You must also be alert for the sound of air leaks, and be certain that any moving parts are properly guarded to prevent accidental contact with any person who may be working on or inspecting this vehicle. Look under your vehicle to check the condition of the drivetrain components. Examine the drive lines and U-joints. Make certain there are no loose U-clamps or missing bolts. Check the truck frame for cracks or broken welds. 
Look at the mounting of the hoist jacks and pins to determine if there are any cracks or missing keeper bolts. Look for any fluid leaks and check the hydraulic tank mounting. As you move to the rear of the truck to continue your pre-operation inspection, check the other tires and wheels, brakes and suspension as you did on the left front tire and wheel. This inspection will include checking the braking assembly to determine if the brake valves, pressure converters and lines are secure with no loose or missing parts and looking for any fluid leaks. At the rear of the truck, you will also examine the truck bed for rubbing marks, cracks, or other defects, such as broken welds, bed mountings or pins, that might indicate problems in the operation of the truck. Check for lights and mountings, making certain the light units are clean and in good condition. And inspect the reverse backup alarm and mounting to ensure that it's not damaged. As you continue your walk around inspection on the right side of the truck, check the frame and bed, tires and wheels, suspension, brakes, fuel tank, engine compartment, and other systems and components as you have already done at the rear and left side of your vehicle. While you're checking the area around the machine, inspect the service lights for damage. Look for broken lenses or mud splatters that will reduce visibility. It's important that every step in the inspection be performed. Before you climb onto your machine, make sure the steps and handrails are free from mud, grease, ice, snow, and any other materials that could cause a slip or fall. As you climb up the ladder, use the steps and handholds correctly. Nothing should be carried in your hands while ascending or descending ladders. Also, check the ladders handrails and handholds for looseness, bent parts or cracked welds. Don't take shortcuts to reach the cab and face the machine when climbing on or off. Now is a good time to check the fluid levels in your truck. Safe operation depends upon proper fluid levels in all systems. Low or below normal operating levels may cause a malfunction that could result in a serious accident. So carefully check the oil, engine coolant, and other hydraulic fluids. Remember that fluid vapors and battery gases are explosive, so don't smoke while checking fluid levels. Check that battery covers, connections, and tie downs are secured and free of excessive corrosion. Check the fire extinguisher if located on the deck. Make sure it is secure and fully charged and has been inspected as required. Make sure the windows are clean and free of cracks that might impair your visibility and that the wiper blades are in good condition. Before entering the cab, check the cab protector and rock deflector for broken welds and cracks in the struts or braces. Examine the exterior mirrors and mountings for damage or defects and Check the door latches to make certain they open and close correctly. The next procedure is the cab inspection. When you climb into the cab, give it a good visual inspection. Look for trash, tools, or any loose objects which could interfere with the controls or be tossed around if the truck should stop suddenly or become involved in an accident. Tie down necessary items or put them in the storage box. Remove the items you don't need. If the cab is in order, be sure the transmission is in neutral and the parking brake is set. And check the controls for freedom of movement. Before starting your engine, sound the horn and visually scan the area around you to make certain all persons are clear of your truck before starting or moving it. After you start the engine, check your gauges for oil pressure, air buildup, low air warning, or test the LED system if used. While the engine is warming up, 
Check your wipers to see that they are operating properly. Turn on all lights. Verify that park brake is set. And then dismount truck and walk around it to check if the lights are working. Look for any fluid leaks around the engine and check hydraulic tank and lines for leaks. Look around your truck area to make sure it's clear of people or obstructions before re-entering your truck. As you climb the ladder, check the ladder, rails, and handholds as you did for the deck side ladder. After re-entering your cab, adjust your seat for maximum comfort, making sure you can reach all controls and fasten your seat belt. Continue running the engine at low idle while you make the engine operation check. Listen for any unusual noises, rough or uneven running, and watch for unusual smoke. If you notice any problems, report them to management before you move the machine. When the engine is warmed up to operating temperature, gradually increase the engine speed. Continue checking the engine operation, and while you're observing the sounds of the engine, watch the gauges too. In fact, you should monitor the gauges during operation of the truck. If your truck is equipped with an air pressure system, make certain that during warm-up, the air pressure reaches and maintains the minimum pressure recommended by the manufacturer. Next, test your backup alarm. The alarm should automatically sound when the transmission is placed in reverse. It must be audible above the surrounding noise level in the blind area. All people in the same area as your machine must be warned before you move it backward. So never use a machine with a malfunctioning backup alarm. The next inspection is of the emergency steering. This check applies only to those trucks that have an emergency or auxiliary steering system of a type that can be checked. Stop the engine and turn on the emergency steering switch. Check the emergency steering in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations. If the emergency steering is functioning properly, turn off the switch and proceed with the rest of the pre-operation inspection. Next, you should check the steering while the truck is moving. Sound the horn and restart the engine. Wait for pressures to reach normal. Release all brakes. Let the machine roll forward slowly. While you're moving, turn the steering wheel one way, then the other, and back to the center. To check the service brakes, continue to move forward at about five miles per hour and apply the service brakes firmly. The vehicle should stop quickly in a straight line with no pull to either the left or to the right. Check secondary or emergency brake and retarder, if equipped, in a similar manner. Now, set the parking brake and release the service brakes to see if the parking brake will hold. Observe all system gauges to see if there are any abnormal pressure drops. Remember, practice the suggested steps of the pre-operation inspection procedures and use a checklist. All of the checks discussed are for your own personal safety. The entire inspection will take only a few minutes, and these few minutes can give you confidence that you're operating a safe machine. If you discover any problems during the inspection, report them to management immediately. As you operate the truck, be alert for any problems that may develop during the shift, such as unusual gauge readings or engine sounds, or changes in the feel of brakes or steering. The purpose of this video is to aid you in your pre-operational inspections of your off-road haulage truck. Management may provide you with additional information based on regulations 
and manufacturer specifications.